Welcome back. The happiness flashlight, it's not a real thing, right? It's an imaginary creation. It's actually what's called a mental structure. And the cycle of mind system is built on the development of mental structures. Why do we have to do that? Well, like the garden hose analogy. Imagine turning on the spigot and the hose is flying all over the place. That's what's happening with your thoughts. They're unstructured. They're out of control. They're flopping all over the place. What you do in a mental structure is you grab a hold of the garden hose and you direct it to the flowers. And those flowers are your health, your relationships, your self-awareness, your sense of inner peace, your purpose and motivation, and your abundance. You're going to direct your thoughts like directing the water from a garden hose. You're going to direct your thoughts on those six elements. This mental flashlight, this happiness flashlight, is a mental structure. Each LED corresponds to one of those areas. And then we talked about the AB batteries, appreciate your blessings. So we're able to, in one simple picture, show you how to manage or get your mind around something that's invisible, which is happiness. How to get your mind around your thoughts. Your health is invisible. Your, your relationships are invisible. Your self-awareness, your inner peace, your motivation, your abundance, it's all invisible. They're all feelings. They're emotions. They're all thoughts. And what these mental structures allow you to do is to gather all of them together in one picture that you can keep your mind focused on and learn to control the thoughts that you think. Learn to control your, your mind. The Buddha said, to enjoy good health, to bring true happiness to one's family, to bring peace to all, a man must first discipline and control his own mind. Well, how do you discipline and control your mind? Well, mental structures allow us to all talk about the same thing, to take something that's invisible, mind and thoughts, and create a visible mental structure. So I just wanted you to understand, as you progress in the cycle of mind system from the course in happiness, which you're in now, to the next course, a course in self-awareness, we're going to introduce a different mental structure, a new mental structure that will help you become self-aware, that will guide you towards self-awareness. And then finally, the third course is a course in enlightenment, where again, we expand on that mental structure. So the entire system is about allowing you to focus your thoughts, to channel your energy and your attention onto a mental picture that results in you, in this case, results in you being much happier and shining a much brighter light of happiness. So as you get into the next courses, you'll also find mental structures that will allow you to direct and control the thoughts in your own mind. And that's important because as the Buddha said, to enjoy good health, to bring true happiness to one's family, to bring peace to all, a man must first discipline and control his own mind. These mental structures allow you to discipline and control the thoughts in your mind. I'll see you in the next video.